Hello everybody, I hope you're having an amazing day today, and today I'm going to show you how to host your bot using Replit to make sure that it is online 24-7 and never goes offline. Depending on where you're hosting your bot currently, you may notice that once you either turn off your computer or close your code editor, that your bot will actually turn off. So if you want to make sure that your bot is always online, even once you turn off your computer, you can use Replit to accomplish that. If you don't know what Replit is, it's actually a really nice and easy to use uh, online code editor, which allows you to create a Discord bot online so you're able to access it from anywhere. And then using Replit, we're able to create a website on Replit. And then with that website, we can use another program called Uptime Robot to ping that website to ensure that it always stays online, which means that your bot will always stay online. So enough talking and let's get into how to actually do this. So heading over to Replit.com, uh, you will have to create an account if you don't have one, as you can see I'm already signed in. But um, links to this will be in the description, by the way, it's just replit.com. Um, so yeah, go ahead, sign in, create an account, whatever that may be. And then you want to actually create a REPL, is what they call it. So you can click one of the buttons, one of the create buttons, and that will create a new REPL. Um, and then you want to select whatever you're using to, ho to um, whatever language you're using for the bot. So if you're using Node.js, Python, or whatever you're using, click that. For this, I'm using Python. I have a discord.py bot. And then you could name the title to whatever you want. Discord.py bot. And you press create REPL. And if you want to, you can also import from GitHub. If you have your bot on GitHub, you can import it right there. Um, but for our case, we're going to be importing a bot that we have on our computer. So if you were usually using, if you were normally using a um, code editor on your computer, like Visual Studio Code or PyCharm or something like that, or even just regular, uh, the Python IDLE editor, um, then you can import the files from your computer onto REPL and then we could host it 24-7. So let's get, go ahead and get how to do that. So from here, once you've created your REPL, if you don't know what to do, this is your code editor right here. So you can start, you know, typing your code directly into here and this is your code editor. Um, and then down here we have a console and then we have a couple things over on the left side, but don't worry about that. If you just want to import your bot from your computer, I'll show you how to do it right now. So there's some controls over here. We have new file, new folder, or if you press these three dots, we have upload file, upload folder, and all this different stuff. So, or you could just drag and drop it directly into it, but I'm gonna go ahead and press upload folder so we can actually grab our bot from our computer. Let's go ahead and do that. And then you just wanna navigate to wherever your bot is. Let me do that really quick. So here we are. This is the file that contains um, our main.py file of our bot. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this file, press upload. And as you can see, upload six files to the site. You're gonna press upload. And it may take a while, but well, there it is instantly, the YouTube test file. Sorry, so once that's finished uploading, you should have a new file here called YouTube test. It may take a while depending on how many files there are, but clicking inside it, you can see all of our different files. We're going to pull out just one of these files. We're going to pull out the, ep the episode 12.py, and that's going to be our, um, that's going to be our bot. As you can see, this is our bot right here. So we've successfully imported the Python file in. And if you have a bot that has multiple different files, this is how you can import it within a folder, or you can manually do it one by one, or you can just copy the code over, whatever is easiest for you. But I'm gonna go ahead and delete the rest of this because you don't need the rest of this. We're just gonna be using this one file. And we can delete this pre-made main.py. And then I'm gonna rename this to main.py. So now we have our main.py in here with our bot in it. Um, and I'm seeing now that we have to put our token back in here. Let me do that one second. Sorry, I should have kept my config file. Okay, so once we've done that, now as you can see, if we go ahead and just press run, it will install some packages because this is the first time that you've run this replit and you have all these packages that you need to import or however many packages you have, and it will go ahead and download that. Um, so wait for that to finish. It shouldn't take very long, but um, I'll be back once that's done. All right, so once that's done, it only took about maybe 15 seconds. And as you can see, our bot's already online. We have all of our output. And if we go back to our server, our bot is online. So that's perfect. And now let's talk about how to get it up 24 seven. Cause as you can see right now, once we close out of this website, if we go over to discord, our bot's still online for a second, but if we try running commands, it's actually offline. Sorry, it took a second to update. But um, as you can see, once you try to run the command, this application did not respond because we've actually closed out of the website. So the bot is no longer online. So let's talk about how to make it up 24 seven. All right, so heading back to our REPL, what we're actually going to do, and I explained this a little earlier, what we're going to be doing is creating a website through REPL. And then once you create that website, we're going to use another program called Uptime Robot to constantly ping that website to ensure that it stays online. So let's go ahead and create that website. And don't worry, this is not a um, website building tutorial. In fact, we're going to be using something called Flask. And this is not a Flask tutorial. So I'm not going to be going through the code. I'm just going to be giving you code. And if you, if you really want to know how it works, you can ask in my Discord server. But 
I'm, this is not a Flask tutorial, so I won't be going through all the code, but I will show you how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and create a new file, and we're going to just call this keep underscore alive dot py. And inside of here, you're going to, like I said, this code will be down in the description. You can paste this code in right here. And I'm going to change this to the name of our bot, discord.py bot is online. So this is using Flask to create a website. As you can see, it creates a new app using Flask. And then this is just our home website, which will return this text into the website. And yeah, again, this isn't a Flask story, so I won't explain it, but this is creating a Flask website. So this is all good, but now we need to actually run this. So right above your client.run, in your main file, you want to put keep underscore alive, just like that. Um, and I think you have to import keep alive as well. Let me see. Right. So you actually need to import the function from keep alive. So this function keep alive is what we want to try to run. So we're going to go into our main, uh, .py and do from keep underscore alive. And this is referencing, referencing the file from keep underscore alive, import keep underscore alive. And that is referencing the function inside of here. So now this is now not underlined anymore. And if we run this, we should see a website being created. Hopefully, if we haven't messed anything up. All right, sorry about that. I had to go do something. But um, once that packing configuration is done and your bot's back online, as you can see, we have this new web view opening up on the side. And as you can see, we have this website that we can actually go to. This is an actual website that, we, that we've created. And as I said earlier, it now says whatever the name of your bot is online, or whatever that text is that you returned. Um, so this is great. Now we have our website, and this website is um, always going to be running um, because our rebel is always going to be running. Even if this isn't run, the website will be running. But in order to keep the bot online, we're going to need to ping it through an external um, website. And in order to do that, we're going to be using Uptime Robot. So let's go ahead and head over to that. So heading over to UptimeRobot.com, you have to go ahead and log in or register for free if you don't have an account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. All right, once you've created your account and you've successfully logged in, you'll be met with all of your monitors over here on the left. Obviously, if it's your first time, you won't have any monitors. So let's go ahead and create that new monitor. As you see, I already have one over here, but we're gonna create a new one. Press add new monitor, and then we're gonna press monitor type, HTTPS, because we are, it's, um, we're pinging a website. And then we're gonna say friendly name. This is just the name of your monitor, whatever you want. So I'm gonna put my Discord bot, and then URL or IP, we're gonna come back here to our website, copy this URL in the search bar, put it right here. Monitoring interval, um, you have to keep it at five minutes. I would always keep it the lowest. I don't know why you would increase the interval, um, but if you wanna make it less, you have to pay for um, pro plan, but I really don't uh, suggest that. You can just keep it at free and it works completely fine. So timeout, all that, you can leave the same, all that stuff, same head, leave the same, and press create monitor. You're gonna press create monitor again and now your monitor is created so there we go press close and now you can see we have our new monitor and you can actually monitor how long it's up for if by look by looking at this so we have a response time and let's actually go to our old monitor so i can actually see how this looks so this is our response time and you can kind of see how um quick replit is responding um if there's any downtime it'll show it right here latest downtime you see no downtime recorded and you can see a lot of stats or information here so yeah, with that being said, your bot is now online for 24-7. As you can see, if I go ahead and close down Replit website, um, you can even close down Uptime, Ro Uptime Robot, sorry. And then you can run slash modal, and as you can see, the command still works. So, and that'll keep working forever. I do want to mention one thing that can happen. And if, if this is all you want, then that's great. You can click off the video, but I do want to mention something about Replit, which is a disadvantage. Replit is a website that uses to um, host your bot. And with that being said, you have to use the same um, port to host all your bots. So there's millions of Discord's bots that are being hosted on Replit. And Discord has an, um, a request limit. And they will actually limit your account. You'll get rate limited if you try to like start and stop your bot over and over again. So using this, you'll run into issues where you get rate limited by Discord. And the only way to fix that, and I'll go ahead and show you if that happens to you, I'll, go, I'll show you how to fix that real quick. So if you ever do get raid limited by Discord and you'll see a message in your console, and it'll be a really, really long red text, and you'll read, like it'll be a lot of HTML, but if you read kind of in there, you'll see like um, the owner of this website has blocked you from using their service or something along those lines. So if you get raid limited, the only way to combat that is if you go over to the shell and you run kill one. And this will actually reconnect you to a different proxy service so you're able to actually run your bot however 
you don't want to have to do this manually. So I'm going to show you how to make a script for this. Um, so yeah, we're going to create one more script and we're going to go over here and create a new file and we're going to call it restarter.py. Restarter.py. So pretty much we're going to detect once your bot has been rate limited and once it's been rate limited, we're going to just run kill one automatically and then restart it. So inside of the script, we're going to paste this code. We're going to import sleep from time. We're going to import OS from system. And then we're going to sleep for seven seconds and then run the main file again. So that is our restarter script. And I'll show you how this functionality actually works inside of the main.py. So we're going to actually replace our client.run with a try and ex with the try and accept statement. So go ahead and get rid of this, go to a new line, and you're gonna paste this in. So what this does is we have a try statement that's gonna to try to run the bot. So if we ever try to run the bot and there's an error, which throws out the discord.errors.http exception, which is only called when um, we have, uh, when we're rate limited by discord. So that's gonna be thrown out. And um, so if we can't run the bot, we're going to pick up this error, and if this error is, is um, sorry, if it's thrown out at us, then we're going to print that we're blocked by rate limits, and that's not necessary. But then we're going to os.system kill one, which is what I was talking about. We're going to automatically kill the system inside of the shell, and then we're going to run restarter.py using Python. So, and as you can see, we're getting red lines because we don't have os imported. So let's go ahead and import os. Import os. So now this should be working. Excuse me. So, like I said, we're going to try to run the client, and if we can't, if we get this error, then what we're going to do is we're going to kill the system and then run this restarter script, which if we go to the restarter script, all it does is it sleeps for seven seconds, and then it runs the main file again. So, this is how we get around the, the um, rate limit by Discord. And this is also how we get our bot up for 24-7. So, using this method, your bot should be up at all times. I don't see any reason why your bot should not be up online using this method because we've combated the rate limit um, issue and we're able to have it 24 seven regardless. So yeah, with that being said, if you guys have any questions, um, be sure to leave them down in the comments or you can join my Discord support server and I'll be able to help you there. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you did enjoy and you'd like to see more content in the future. Um, yeah, hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Comment down any video suggestions that you'd like to see, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.